okay now i'm going to explain about multi enzyme complex with the pyruvate dehydrogenase and trimogen activation that means the activation of trypsinogen and chemotrypsinogen trypsinogen okay let us discuss about multi enzyme complex of pyruvate dehydrogenase okay what is multi enzyme complex let us discuss about this okay a multi enzyme complex contains several copies of one or several enzymes that means polypeptide chains which are packed into one assembly okay which are packed into one group okay here a multi enzyme complex contains several copies of one or several enzymes which are packed into one assembly okay multi enzyme complex carries out a single or a series of biochemical reactions taking place in the cell so, okay multi enzyme complex carries out a single or a series of biochemical reactions taking place in the cells it allows to segregate that means it allows to separate certain biochemical pathways into one place in the cell okay see here the multi enzyme complex which carries out a single or a series of biochemical reactions which takes place in the cells that allows to separate certain biochemical pathways into one place in the cell okay example such as pyruvate dehydrogenase fatty acid synthetase glutamine synthetase proteasome and rubisco okay uh, let us discuss about pyruvate dehydrogenase complex okay see here it is a complex of three enzymes that converts pyruvate into acetyl coenzyme a by a process called pyruvate decarboxylation okay it is a pro it is a complex of three enzymes that converts pyruvates into pyruvate into acetyl coenzyme a by a process called pyruvate decarboxylation okay here acetyl coenzyme a may, may then be used in the citric acid cycle to carry out cellular respiration okay acetyl coenzyme a may then be used in the citric acid as cycle to carry out the cellular respiration and this complex links the glycolysis metabolic pathway to the citric acid cycle okay here pyruvate decarboxylation is also known as pyruvate dehydrogenase reaction okay because it involves the oxidation of pyruvate okay pyruvate decarboxylation is also known as pyruvate dehydrogenase reaction because it involves the react oxidation of pyruvate okay next coming to the point this multi enzyme complex is related structurally and functionally to oxoglutarate dehydrogenase and branch chain oxo acid dehydrogenase multi enzyme complex okay here the multi enzyme complex is related structurally and functionally to oxoglutarate dehydrogenase and branch chain oxo acid dehydrogenase multi enzyme complexes okay next coming to the point see this is the reaction which is catalyzed by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex okay see here this is the pyruvate structure okay uh, ikkada pyruvate dehydrogenase am jarutundi decarboxylation kuda jarutundi okay uh, decarboxylation reaction means nothing but oxidation of pyruvate dehydrogenase okay that means see here sulfidyl group coenzyme ante acetyl coenzyme a anedi decarboxylation jarutte ante carbon dioxide remove avutundi okay ikkada pyruvate dehydrogenase kuda jarutundi ante nad plus anedi nadh h plus kinda remove avutundi okay appudu manaki acetyl coenzyme a ane product anedi form avutundi okay this is the overview of multi enzyme complex pyruvate dehydrogenase okay next let us discuss about the activation of trimogen okay um, and activation of trypsinogen and chemotrypsinogen okay let us discuss about trimogen's activation okay many enzymes exist as inactive forms which are known as trimogens which it is also known as proenzymes okay here proenzymes are synthesized as inactive precursors that are subsequently activated by cleavage of one or a few specific peptide bonds okay this is subsequently 
activated by cleavage of one or more one or a few specific peptide bonds okay uh, it contains a energy source atp okay which is not needed for the cleavage okay here the energy source atp which is not needed for cleavage even in contrast with reversible regulation by phosphorylation even proteins relocated outside cells can be activated by these means okay here proteolytic activation that means in contrast with allosteric control and reversible covalent modification occurs just once in the life of an enzyme molecule that is the process is irreversible okay here proteolytic activation that means in contrast with allosteric control and reversible covalent modification occurs just once in the life of an enzyme molecule that is the process is irreversible okay next coming to the point chemotrypsin here chemotrypsin is a digestive enzyme that hydrolyzes proteins in the small intestine as we know chemotrypsin is a digestive enzyme which hydrolyzes the protein in the small intestine its inactive precursor is chemotrypsinogen which is synthesized in the pancreas okay the gymogens are synthesized in the snr cells of pancreas and stored inside membrane bounded granules okay here the gymogens are synthesized in the snr cells of pancreas which are stored inside membrane bounded granules okay chemotrypsinogen which is a single polypeptide chain consisting of 245 amino acid residues it is a devoid of enzymatic activity okay it is converted into a fully active enzyme when the peptide bond joining arginine 15 and isoleucine 16 which is cleaved by trypsin to form pi chemotrypsin okay which is cleaved by trypsin to form pi chemotrypsin here see here chemotrypsinogen which is a single polypeptide chain it consists of 245 amino acid residues okay it is devoid of enzymatic activity actually here it is converted into a fully active enzyme okay when when the peptide bond joining arginine 15 and isoleucine 16 which is cleaved by trypsin to form pi chemotrypsin here pi chemotrypsin subsequently undergoes autolysis to specifically excise two dipeptides okay see here pi chemotrypsin subsequently undergoes autolysis to specifically excise that means that okay to peptide peptides okay cleave two dipeptides see see here seren are uh, 14 add to arginine 15 and threonine 147 to arsenic 148 thereby yielding the act equally active enzyme alpha chemotrypsin see here they gave the structures chemotrypsinogen eh ikkada two disulfide bridges untayi first 16 ki 120 16 ki 120 16 amino acid machino two disulfide bridges untayi ikkada kuda ante 126 136 కి 201 కి మధ్యలో 260 uh, సల్ఫైడ్ బ్రిడ్జెస్ అనేవి ఉంటాయి పై పై కిమోట్రిప్సిన్ కి యాక్టివ్ ఫామ్ లో ఆర్జినిన్ కి ఆర్జినిన్ కి ఐసోలూషన్ కి మధ్యలో ఉంటాయి అన్నమాట 15 ఆర్జినిన్ 15 కి ఐసోలూషన్ మరియు 16 కి మధ్యలో ఈ డైసల్ఫైడ్ బ్రిడ్జెస్ అనేవి ఉంటాయి అన్నమాట ఓకే ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ కూడా అంతే 136 అంటే దట్ మీన్స్ నథింగ్ వర్డ్ ఓకే ఇక్కడ కూడా అంతే 14 15 సరైన ఆర్జినిన్ కి 147 148 సరైన ఆర్జిన్ కిమోట్రిప్సిన్ బాండ్స్ అన్నమాట సి ఇది బాండ్ ఓకే హియర్ పై కిమోట్రిప్సిన్ సబ్సిక్వెంట్లీ అండర్గోస్ ఆటోలైసిస్ దట్ మీన్స్ క్లీవర్స్ క్లీవ్స్ స్పెసిఫికల్లీ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ two dipeptides that is two dipeptides nt seren 114 to arginine 115 and threonine 147 and as arsenic 148 that by yielding the equally active enzyme alpha chemotrypsin okay next coming to the point conformational change in chemotrypsin okay here newly formed internal isoleucine 16 turns inward and forms an ionic bond with as 
as per date 194 in the interior of the chemotrypsin. Okay, here protonation of this amino group stabilizes the active form of chemotrypsin. This electrostatic interaction triggers following conformational changes. That means methionine 192 moves up whichever is deeply buried residues. 187 and 193 become more extended. Here substrate specificity site for aromatic and bulky non-popular group forms. Okay. Here amine groups that forms hydrogen bond with substrate oxygen and stabilizes tetrahedral intermediate which is not appropriately located in chemotrypsinogen. And so the oxyne oxyanion hole is incomplete in the gymnosome. Okay. In a appropriate ka locate avi undalet kapati chemo trips no jano oxanion hole anedi incomplete and mata jano jano. Okay, next coming to the point trypsin. Trypsin the activation of trypsinogen then it takes place in two stages, stage process. Okay, enteropeptidase a single pass transmembrane serine. Okay, enteropeptidase anedi single pass pass transmembrane serine protease okay that is located in the duodenal mucosa specifically hydrolyzes trypsinogens lysine 15 to 15 and isoleucine 16 peptide bond at its end terminal end okay lysine 15 and isoleucine 16 peptide bond at its end terminal end forming a hexapeptide bond Okay, it forms a hex for, for the formation of hexapeptide bond. See here, enteropeptidase, which is a single pass transmembrane serine protease. Okay, that is located in the duodenal mucosa. Okay, specifically, trypsinogen hydrolyzes trypsinogen, um, trypsinogens lysine 15 and isoleucine 16 peptide bond at its internal end forming a hexapeptide bond that means form a small amount of trypsin cleaves trypsinogen to form its active form okay okay already for this uh, that formed a small amount of trypsin is there no hexapeptide trypsin the cleaves trypsinogen to form its active form that is trypsinogen activation is out of catalytic okay see here trypsin activates other proteases like enteropeptidase to uh, enteropeptidase which is trypsinogen ni trypsin kinda okay trypsin which is proteolyze prote proelastase ni elastase kinda pro carboxyle carboxy peptidase ni carboxy peptidase kinda convert chestundi alage chemotrypsinogen ni chemotrypsinogen kinda chemotrypsin kinda prolipase ni lipase kinda activate chestundi okay this is the overview of activation of chymogen and activation chymogen activation in activation of trypsin and chemotrypsinogen okay trypsinogen and chemotrypsinogen okay this is the overview of multi enzyme complex and uh, gymogen activation. Thank you.